everybody and welcome back to Horizon Zero Dawn where I think today we're gonna oh do we have something I was gonna say we're gonna go we're gonna do the main quest but if I have something okay so we're finishing this okay never mind we will go back. It looks like we're in the middle of something. <gasps> oh no! We're all out of fast travel packs! I'll just have to make some more. But yeah, after this, maybe- well, I guess it kind of depends. I can't make any promises, right? I mean, I could, but... I also want, I don't want to interrupt the flow of a quest. If it's something where it's like, go out and kill six more things in various locations, that's something that's like, yeah, we'll just, we'll get to it, you know? But if it's like, more story mission-y. I hope that to complete this Hunter's Lodge thing with Talena, I don't have to go to every single Hunter's Lodge and, and get all the hearts or stars or whatever. All right, just took us about as long as it would have taken. We all have our place in the order of things. To uh, walk here as it did to fast travel. Everyone needs a splash of color in their lives. They're so loud when I pass by them. Adventurers. You just gonna Preferably keep saying that? No friends or family, what? but I'm not choosing. I don't know where I'm going. Excuse me, excuse me. The crazy also tried to kill our son King. What outfit am I wearing? Okay, we're my melee one. With my cool head crown thing. Hey! I had no idea the Nora was so fierce. It's me. <laughs> Whoops. Talana, always a pleasure. I see you've brought your pet. Greetings, Sunhawk. I hereby sponsor Aloy of the Nora for membership in the Hunter's Lodge. Her outfit is beautiful. No. Look at her. She's lowborn, a savage. This is beneath even you, Talana. She has fulfilled the requirements, and Sun King Avad decreed the lodge should be open to all. She did save his life, but I'm sure he'll <laughs> listen to your prejudice over his own common sense. <laughs> Would you like to take it up with him? The word of the Sun King is indeed law. Even though it would bring ruin to the lodge, yeah, so man. Be it. Making more people included you, in things ruins it. Aloy of the Nora. Pledge to act rightly and nobly when in service to the Lodge all the days to follow. I do. Members of the Lodge, even though Tarkas is barely cold, I present to you Aloy of the Nora. Member and Thrush, what say you all? To the hunt! Sponsoring an outlander. <laughs> While you make meaningless gestures, I'll be finding Red Mo Oh, yeah? You know, you've just been standing up here doing nothing? Cool beans. Oops, this. This is a good she day. She is so pretty. I know why I hate a sea. <laughs> why do you? <laughs> My family has always boasted members in the lodge. My father and brother were both hawks. A cease let their sacrifice be forgotten. Um, what sacrifice? They died in the massacre. They should be honored as hawks. Instead, Assis will not let anyone mention it. Wait, what? How did your family come to be members of the Lodge? Karja noble houses have sent sons to the Lodge for generations. Because they needed another place to lord over the commoners. <laughs> I want to change that. The idea that someone is worthy or not by virtue of birth alone. Everyone thinks they have me pegged as soon as they hear Talana Khan Padish. I hate that. I understand. 
My whole life I lived as an outcast from Menorah. They would have been the first to say I wasn't one of them. Yet as soon as I leave the sacred lands, everyone calls me Aloy of the Nora. Ah! It should be Aloy despite the Nora. Oh! I didn't know. I'll remember that. That's a really good point. Like, I mean, she was... She's like... She's not even really culturally Nora. Like, they have their... But they... She's like... And she was raised an outcast. Like, she's just... She wears the garb occasionally, you know? Like... She's her own person. Like, she was taught some rudimentary things of the Nora, but that's a really- And I like that. That was clever. Nora, uh, Aloy despite the Nora. I like that. What happened in the massacre? King Duran's paranoia knew no bounds. He sent thousands of innocents to die in the Sunring. When the Hawks of the Lodge called for him to stop the slaughter, he threw them in the ring too. Yet when the machines attacked the condemned, more hawks leapt into the ring to defend them. And my father and brother were among them. I'm... I'm so sorry. Wow. So... So it wasn't just like they stab them, like they would, they would, they would throw them into a pit with machines and then the machines would kill them? Like, wow. It's not just like a, a throat cut and go, which would still really suck. Like, that's like... Wow. It's brutal. Like, it's all brutal, but, like, it's even more brutal. What happened to the men in the sun ring? They died fighting. If you wish to hear the story, Legan can tell it better. He saw it with his own eyes. I did not. The morning of the massacre, my father told me to meet him outside the city. He told me they were planning an escape. I waited for hours until a message came from my father. I had to leave the city. So I fled when I should have fought by his side. He didn't want you to die with them. Nor would he want their names forgotten. Yeah. Especially by the man who benefited most from their deaths, Assis. Mm. What's Redmaw? Few have seen it. A thunderjaw marked by years of battle. Some say it still bears the marks of over a dozen hunters on its flank. How many it has trampled along the way, we may never know. When members go hunting and never return, we often blame Red Maw. But to me, it's more than legend. It's the only machine that will unseat a cease. My sponsor nearly had it, but he didn't make it. I'm sorry. Tarkas sponsored me out of loyalty to my family. He was my last link to them, besides the lodge itself. I have to unseat a cease. Uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm fully dedicated to this. Now that you're a thrush, you should improve your reputation. Why do you hunt down a Thunderjaw and a Stormbird? How about... You want me to go trophy hunting? You're not just any thrush. You're mine. And you better make me look good. Ha <laughs> But what about Redmaw? I will find him. And when I do, I expect you to be there. Okay. Girl, I'll do anything for you. I, I will do anything for you. Wow, lots of treasure boxes. Uh, oh, oops, okay. The blasts of compressed air from this close-range weapon strip armoring components from machines without the need to aim precisely, leading them more vulnerable to follow-up attacks that cannot be modified. Oh ho ho! This sounds like something I'll never use. Let's just put it there for now. Interesting! That's really cool. I didn't think we were gonna get a new weapon type at all. Wait, let's talk. Oh, I've... Two new thrushes in one day makes a hawk proud. Who else just became a thrush? Yeah. Ardic. I see him rising to the top very quickly. He reminds me of myself at his age. What will you say when I bring in a Thunderjaw trophy? That's a wonderful goal. 
Perhaps you can have Artie give you some tea. Oh! Man, you seem kind of nice, but you also seem like you're just, you're, you're manipulating Do you people. know where Red Ma is? I do not. Rumor of it spreads quickly within the lodge. As soon as it is spotted, it disappears again. Can you tell me what happened during the massacre? A terrible time. King Jaran purged loyal subjects and traitors alike throughout the Sunland. He even called out members of our lodge. Why? Some spoke out against the killing. And when the soldiers came for them, we all objected. For that crime, those who were not arrested were forced to watch our comrades murdered in the sun ring. I shouldn't say more. Please, tell me what I, happened I don't that know day why I want to know. Normally, victims of the sun ring fell within minutes as the crowd cheered, cheered their deaths. But not with our hawks. They stood alone against wave after wave of machines. Hours passed, the men taking turns fighting as the others rested. Wow. The crowd's mood turned, rallying around our men. Some of them left, their blood lost unsated. We members stayed and watched till nightfall. What happened in the sun ring at nightfall? The sun had set. And only firelight and the glow from the machines lit the ring. It was then the court released a behemoth. Several hawks at once jumped into the ring to fight alongside the condemned. They had snuck in their weapons. I wish I had as well. The machine didn't discriminate. It crashed into the stand, devastating yeah. spectator and I was gonna alone. say. It was a slaughter. They bring a behemoth in, and it's like, uh, like I don't, I'm not quite sure what it is. I get the machines doing stuff a lot, but uh, it sounds like it' big and non-discriminatory. You know what I mean? And how did the battle in the Sun Ring come to an end? Talana's father climbed atop a behemoth, and with one well-placed spear, destroyed it, just as a second knocked him to his death. Her brother and the others fought this second behemoth, falling one by one, as they put themselves between the beast and the stands. And so we and the spectators were saved. Those who had once cheered for their deaths thanked the dying men for their very lives. Wow. What a brave end. And how terrible that no one speaks of it. Yeah. I must of say, I'm surprised by your achievements, bringing in a stalker already. Save your surprise. I'm just getting started. Yeah, my dude. Psh. The stalker was pretty tough, though. Um, it's no surprise as he uh, doesn't want to talk about it because he's a coward and didn't participate. Did, didn't didn't help. Didn't save anybody. We have new corrupted zones. Lots of lots of tutorials. Let's see. Main quest. Yeah, we're way over leveled for this, I think, it looks like. We're gonna explore the ancient ruins beneath the citadel and unravel the unbelievable truth of Project Zero Dawn. This may have to be an episode that's split into pieces, but you're into two. But uh, how far away? Oh my gosh, it's in an area we have not been. Oh, and I need to craft. Okay, so that one's done for sure. All the way done. I don't think I need any of those yet. Let's see. Sure. Okay, we're in town, so let me maybe buy some... Uh, 
maybe. We'll see if you gain. I want to. She might only have these specific things. Yeah. Let's see. I have 89 wire, nice. She does not have camping supplies. Ah, oh, you're back. Oh. Did you bring me something lovely? Well, uh. Till we meet again, my noble Nora. I have a matter of grace and beauty I would like to discuss with you. <laughs> He's so weird. He's very nice. I just need a, a general merchant. So I can buy general merchant things. As hunting goods. Tie me to the hunting goods guy. I was like, hold down. on, this guy has a name. No! Oh, wow, what's this? Something that I haven't seen yet. Wow, okay. Do they, like, put these out, like, just randomly? Having them in the boxes is kind of nice, because it means that I can I still technically have them, and it's like a second sort of a secondary storage space. <laughs> ah ah! I need to remember what button is does what. Resources? Okay. <gasps> oh no! I need rich meat to buy them? It's not just a shards thing? Oh, that's a bummer. I'll have to kill things, it looks like. Looks like I'm gonna have to kill things. Like, uh, I, by that, by things I mean, um, real creatures, not just machines. All right, I'm, aha! That was a burrowing one. Oh, nothing to do with you. Pretty sure that was a burrowing one. <laughs> what are you? Have I... I found burrowing ones. I feel like this is not gonna end well. Because this is... This is literally the only way... To get to where I want to be. <sighs> <laughs> Red light means trouble. <gasps> what? Where? A rock breaker? I've already encountered one of you guys. Right? That's what I fought before, right? Yeah. Okay. Um, I mean, they're not, like, impossible, but I would rather not. Let's see. Behemoth. Okay. Big guy. Big guy. Okay. Thunderjaw. Okay. Corrupted machine. I'm missing... Four? Machine types that I just haven't scanned, or, or what 
they come up later. Interesting. That one was like a flying one, maybe. this Ooh. are you serious is a campfire right next to them city it's like modern and not maybe like is it like an ancient city it's definitely like a Karza Some city form. yeah 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 Red can <gasps> us. a bulwark of Karja might against the howling forbidden west thanks for the history lesson but they have no idea what lies beneath we will learn much from this Aloy. That's what I'm hoping. It's disconcerting to see. Am I allowed to just walk up to this place? Seeing the sun gives me hope. For a minute. You guys are slaves, right? going on here these guys very much strange i used to walk by the same old man every morning but i haven't seen him today it's been a while these guys are definitely slaves i look at the way they're nobody should be living like this yesterday i found a bunch of mushrooms and i had to hand them all over to the soldiers didn't even get to taste them why can't you guys just go like take off and go it's not that far I see. Wait, I have a quest in here? New soldier. She's very back. pale. Is she unwell? Yes. She's a fighter, but the fever on her won't lift. It only burns hotter. Her name is Shiana. My sister. Isn't there anyone in Sunfall who can help? We're refugees. We know our place. And there's only one healer in the territory. He's... difficult. His soul is in shadow. His... soul is in shadow? Galiv. That's him. He's very clever, but he has little care for people. Perhaps the desert scoured it all away. Perhaps he was always like that. Either way, I know he won't help us. Well, I'll see about that. <laughs> Where would I find him? Last I heard, he was patching up soldiers at Blazon Arch. Another border battle. Shh. There's nothing so strange about old men dying. I'll keep the moon from your brow. Grandfather's dead. Meh! So wait. These aren't slaves, they're refugees. There's gotta be more to this stupid story. But why don't they go to Meridian? Or wasn't everybody who was brought to Sunfall like, oh my gosh, there's a bunch of kids. The sunlight always reminds me of who I am. 
no matter what happens, that's just and they all run away from me. I think it's because it might be because they uh, they need to stay out of like you know your way when you're when you're the main character. But it also could be like story wise, like they're afraid of strangers, you know. Is it? Yeah, you guys are shadow Karja. Like, they're not good people. They shouldn't be like, hey, cool beans. To look. Here's a person that we don't know walking in. Like, they're at war with the regular Karja. Oh, okay, cutscene. An arena! It's like the sun ring. I bet. A behemoth! Cool beans! The sun ring. Yeah. Oh, so this is the sun ring. Off my focus. Lucky if you survive long enough to wind up in that ring. Whoa. So this, there was like a smaller sun ring in Meridian though. And that's like where they put people? Ugh. Yikes. Um, I don't remember getting up here really, but that's okay. Yeah, I feel like they wouldn't just be like, oh yeah, it's a person walking around that we don't know. It's fine. Who are you? You're shiny. You have a fancy, fancy headdress. Can I have it? Oh, you're an outlander. My duties today are endless. There's a an extremely distinct, like. These are the wealthy people. Oh, this guy's Nora, though, maybe. And these people are basically slaves. Like they, these were not nice people. Can I get in now here? we get to see if your attack on their focus network was entirely successful. Uh, <laughs> what are you talking about? Did I crash the network or yeah, not? Yeah, uh, my guy. Siri, all should be well. Oh, can you not even check? If he can't stay true, what hope is there for the rest of us? What? Who? What? Uthid. Uthid. Okay. I believe you. Success. Welcome oh, to the what? Citadel, Aloy. I'll check back with you in a moment. In the meantime, circulate. It's a nice Don't mind me, lighting fires, it's fine. Going light. Uh I'm just I, I feel like they shouldn't just let me walk in. Like they're at war. Outlanders! If you want to hear about today's bounties, head ah, to the throne room. Okay. You're not going to make any shards by standing out here. Filthy mercenary bottom feeders. I'll take the shards, even if it means having to listen to Bahamas. I hear the shadow of the are looking for one of their own. What are you waiting around for, Outlander? Bounties are announced inside. They're we looking... trusted him. They're looking for one of their own? Who? Also, shouldn't the Shadow Karja know what I look like? I mean, I know they're not exactly the Eclipse, but... Oi. This is the fake Sun King. The other, the brother. Up there, I think. By the glory of the sun revealed. Behold, Radiant Edaman, the one true Sun King. Their robes are very different. The light in shadow. Whose will is light, and whose light is law! I command Lucian Bahavas to speak in my behalf. He's a baby! By the will of Radiant Edaman does the sun glare down mercilessly upon the traitor Uthid. To the hunter who He's brings his head to us shall go a bounty of 500 shards. More prisoners than royalty. Don't you think? Uh, that's exactly what I was thinking, my girl. Love your hair. You and I need to chat, little huntress. Okay, I like you. Down in Shadowside. 
I'll be waiting. Kind of busy. We both know you're no killer for hire. Uthid is innocent. So come see me while there's still time to save him. I was gonna say, the mother... The way in I spoke of is right behind you. You've got to be kidding. Not at all. And you needn't worry about the Kestrels. They'll be too busy acting important to pay attention to you. First time in the Citadel, gotta see the sun ring from on high. Well, the Kestrels. Ah, they want us to see this, boy. It makes quite an impression. Rumor has it they're in Bahavis's employ. Behave. Those guys, the, the royal, I was gonna say, but I didn't want to interrupt while there was talking going on. Definitely looks like they are more prisoner than anything else. It won't bring us home any faster. This is insane. Hardly. They're going to see me. You underestimate the I ease of hiding in plain sight. If you're gonna watch some slaughter, this is the place to do it. <laughs> Another manhunt. How many men and women can one tribe lose? Odin. Leader of Odin's marvels. You've a fresh face. Okay. And you're less an eye or an ear or two. You'll fit right in. First impressions make the sale, except in this snake pit. They'll take whoever shows up. The balustrade. It's a short drop from there. I. How am I supposed to have multiple conversations? This isn't your first job for the Shadow Karja? Scared of their own shadows, Karja. <laughs> like. They spit on me, but the shards are good. Look at those nobles. I say noble, but you can't dress a rat in silk and call it a rat king, can you? Sunfall is a house of clay. If you were to stamp your foot, it would all crumble. Okay. Shouldn't you all be setting out to hunt Uthid? Have you never done this before? Whoever goes first just leads the others. Just take a load off and avail yourself of some Karja booze until someone sniffs out the trail. Then watch us seek out our prey, straight as a ravager's shot. Zip! <laughs> are you sure you're going to be able to walk in straight? <laughs> what are you getting at? What? 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 <laughs> Do you think Uthid did what they're accusing him of? I didn't hear what they I were hope accusing so. him of. It'll make him more dangerous. My advice, it's best not to overthink such things. Uh, overthink whether he's guilty or innocent? <laughs> You let all these thoughts in your head, you'll never make it as a mercenary. Only thing that matters is dead or alive. Good thing I don't want to be a mercenary. If they say alive, bring a rag to stuff in its mouth. But these days, no one wants alive. Okay. Farewell, Odin. Good hunting. If I should have cause to kill you, you won't suffer. Thanks, I guess. Oh, thanks. I feel like that's a pretty good compliment, maybe, you know? Like, we're, we're, we're palsies, I guess. Wait, can I talk to the other one? If you've got a problem with me, talk to Odin. If you can stand his breath. Okay. Uh... Wait, am I... Um... You want me to just jump off? For, uh, what? Move along. I'm, I'm getting the feeling I'm supposed to just uh, jump off. And uh, ah, I see. I was like, and somehow find my way over there. Well, I think I will call this one here, and when we get back, we will have to see how this goes. I mean, this. I don't know. Th 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 this looked distinctly different from the rest of the architecture. And maybe that's just because it's a sun ring, but it looked like it might be a very old from like our day type thing like like modern modern regular in real life time day whatever in 2000s <laughs> um and then this is oh there's also um there it is zero dawn project so yeah this sun ring here this must have existed previously because there's the zero dawn facility is here so the Karja Sunfall was built, um, 
I don't know if I, I mean, I'm here. I might, I'm like, maybe I'll do this, but first. But I think I'm, since I'm here, I'm gonna do this, because this has nothing to do with Uther. That was just my way in. But, anyway, I would call this one here. This is getting interesting. Like, I didn't think they were gonna just let me walk into Sunfall, but lo and behold, they did. So, uh, anyway, I hope you're all enjoying, and I hope to see you in the next one.